good evening to all okay now what stories have we been learning in the recent past which book are we trying to learn a book of daniel so we went through the first chapter of daniel and we've seen through how daniel shadrach meshach and abednego were able to stand for god in babylon which is a pagan country right now here in in babylon who was the king nebuchadnezzar now this king nebuchadnezzar was a great king okay but one day while he was fast asleep he had a dream how many of us dream dreams and does any of our dreams disturb us when we wake up in the morning do we try to sit and think oh what did i dream last night do we think yes the same way king nebuchadnezzar had dream and he knew that that dream was something different from his usual dream but when he woke up in the morning he wasn't able to remember even little bit of what he had dreamt but then it left an effect on him so much so that he he wanted to know what the dream was and what the dream really meant so when he woke up in the morning and as he went to his palace he was trying to recollect to remember what he had actually dreamed he was walking back and forth and he was trying to remember but he wasn't able to remember even little bit of what he had dreamt and in his land babylon there were lot of wise men there were lot of learned people there were magicians there were astrologers who look at the stars and given lot of information there were other wise men the chaldeans who were able to give lot of information as well very learned people and uh, so the king thought probably since i am not able to figure out the ma magicians or the astrologers or any of these wise men should be able to know and tell me what the dream was and so he told his god captain and he said go bring all the magicians the astrologers the wise men who live all throughout the babylon and so they went and they got all the people to the king's palace who all were there there were astrologers there were magicians there were well learned people there were wise men who could predict a lot of things and so all of them were gathered in the king's court and the king placed an order and he said you know i had a dream last night and this dream has been troubling me a lot and i want you people to tell me the dream and also tell me what the dream meant now these people were thinking okay if he would have told them the dream they could have made up some story or at least something they would have tried to tell and explain probably this is what it meant but here he saying he doesn't even remember the dream but he wants them to tell what the dream was and the meaning of the dream and so this was very puzzling to them and they said okay see you yourself who had the dream you don't remember the dream but you are asking us to tell the dream if you are able to somehow recollect the dream and tell it to us we will be able to reveal the meaning of the dream and the king said no i have all you people in this empire and you have high regard only because of your capabilities and you are all skillful and learned people people of great knowledge and if you are not able to tell me even this simple dream and the meaning then you are not fit to be in my kingdom and he said so if you are not going to tell me the dream what i am going to do is destroy all of you so these people were trying to tell again 
you know can you please tell me the dream each one were talking to each other no one was able to figure out but the king says if you don't tell you'll be destroyed now they were talking among themselves and again they tried to tell the king king you please tell us the dream no king anywhere in the world will ever ask such a thing from his people and you are making it very hard on us and so he said they said please consider us tell us the dream and we will give the meaning now the king said this is not it you people are trying to take things lightly and you are not bothered to obey my orders and you are not skillful you are not capable to be a part of my kingdom and so he said you have to be destroyed and so all these people left and they wanted to figure out what needs to be done and they all said that they cannot do anything and so the king called his guards the captain and he said you go and tell all the people all these wise men that the king has given the order to kill all the wise men because they were not able to tell what the dream was and the meaning and so these guards they took the order of the king and so they went ahead and they wanted to what did they want to do they wanted to kill all the wise men and during that time we know that these god's children were there isn't it who were they daniel shadrach meshach and abednego they were all there in babylon and they were also considered to be wise and knowledgeable people and so if all of them have to be killed who also had to be killed daniel and his friends were also to be killed and so this captain of the guard from the king's palace he met daniel as well and he told daniel that the king has sent an order that all the wise men need, needed to be killed because they were not able to reveal the dream and the meaning of the dream and so daniel said ariok why is the king so hasty why can't he give a little more time that we will be able to come out with the dream and the meaning and so ariok said if you are brave enough and if you think that you can reveal it you go and talk to the king and so daniel went to the king and daniel told the king o oh king give us a little time and we will get back to you with the dream and its meaning and so the king stopped the order of killing the wise men and he said okay i'm giving you a couple of days and you have to come to me with the dream and the meaning and so daniel went from the palace and he met with his friends who were his friends who were his friends shadrach meshach abednego they were all young people isn't it who were there in the babylon who were there in babylon and he went and talked with all of them and said we have to pray who alone can reveal secrets god alone can reveal secrets and so we have to pray to our god who is a living god and this god of ours will be able to reveal the dream and its meaning and we will be able to go and tell the meaning dream and its meaning to the king and all the wise men of the land including us will be saved and so that is what they did daniel shadrach meshach and abednego they decided to pray and they asked god for help and they asked god to reveal this big secret so that they can go and present themselves before the king so next week we will try to figure out what happened to daniel and his friends as they went and met the king thank you